Hello, I'd like to talk to you about the t-statistic. And so if we're looking at t-statistic, in fact, let me just uh, draw, I'm going to use this neat highlighter. The t-stat or t-statistic measures the probability that a parameter value is significant. Well, this doesn't mean that it's important. It just means that it's very probably different than zero. So as it mentions here, a parameter is said to be statistically significant if there's evidence and sufficient evidence that the true value does not equal zero. Zero would mean uh, that the parameter or that that uh, x value has no effect. So for example, let's talk about that for a second. So in this case, uh, let me go to this problem down here. Suppose you have a regression analysis for 138 high school graduates and annual earnings for graduate is graduate is in dollars is all of this so b0 would be our intercept b1 would be the parameter on the years of school beyond high school um, for this um, student i we'll call them i and b2 would be the the slope or parameter um, that looks at the grade point average in high school that's above 2.0 and B3 is the number of extracurricular activities in high school. And then we have the, we did a regression analysis, let's say, and we get these parameters. And so if the T stat is two or greater, so um, B1 up here, notice this is B1, this B1 corresponds to that B1 up there, this B2 corresponds to this B2 over here, and this B3, where's B3? Right there. Yeah, let's put little arrows on each one to show which ones they refer to. So notice, we said that if the t-stat is 2 or greater, then we can be pretty sure that the parameter estimate does not equal 0. Well, this here's b1. Here's our parameter estimate of 4,350. And we have a t-stat uh, of 4.34. That's 2 or greater. So we can be fairly certain, 95% certain, that B1 does not actually equal to zero. Zero would imply years of schooling beyond high school have no effect on your annual earnings. Well, hopefully years beyond high school does have an effect. So I'm going to get rid of this one, this line, just to make it a little, a little easier to see. And so here we have B2, B2 over here. B2 is 3 point, T stat is 3.37. 3.37, last time I looked, is greater than 2. And so we can say at a 95% probability or better that the parameter estimate of 5,000, in fact, let's clear out these things now that we know where everything is. So 3.37 implies we could be pretty sure that this parameter or this slope of 5,425 does not equal to zero. Well, you're probably saying, well, 5,425 is not equal to zero. True, but remember what we did with our t value. In fact, let's draw, or not rather with our regression. Remember with our regression, we had, so in this case, um, actually, we have more than just one thing. We have all these different things, but we're trying to determine how much money you make. There's money. And if we look at, try to plot something like uh, grade point average or years of schooling beyond high school, let's say we do years of schooling beyond high school. So here's, you know, one year beyond high school, two years, three years. And so let's call that years. But remember, it's not like it's nice straight line. We have little points with different, it's supposed to be a point. Um, let's get rid of that last one. So we have these points that show probably, I would assume, that you make more money if you have more years schooling. At least that's why a lot of people come to college and helps me stay employed. And so then we try to fit a line to those points. Well, it could be that we have such a blob that yes, we get a positive line, but really there's no relationship. You know, this would imply it's hor you know, zero slope would imply years of additional schooling have no effect on on earnings. 
And in this case, fortunately, years of schooling beyond high school, that was our 4.35, so T-STAT says that we could be fairly certain that it really does have an effect. Well, same thing for B2. Grade point average in our numbers seemed to have an effect. And B3, number of extracurricular activities, well, 0.54 last time I looked is less than 2. So we can't be certain. So let's, let's say this is, uh, let me get my eraser here. And let's say we're looking at B3, which we said was extracurricular activities. So let's just, so we'll just call it activities, A-C-T, not the test, but just your activities. Well, we might have draw, found that there's, for every activity you were in, you made it an extra $875, right? That's our slope, isn't it? And, uh, but the PSTAT says, wow, oh, these dots are all over the place. And that's not the most scientific way to say it, but we really can't say that it's any different than zero. So we tend to imply that though, yes, we found a parameter, really it doesn't look like your activities has any effect on your future earnings. At least we can't, we're, it's such a strong, uh, such a small effect, or the dots are so sp spread that it doesn't seem to have an effect. So we'll just assume B3 actually probably is, may very well be zero. Now, so that's what T-STAT shows us. If these numbers are two or, or greater, we there's a 95% probability or better, better that the parameter estimate does not equal zero. So this one may very well equal zero. It doesn't mean it absolutely equals zero. It just means we can't be very confident that it doesn't equal zero. So R squared, well, what does that mean? Remember what we said on a previous video, if you got to see it? That would imply that 29.3% of, of our total variation in your income, that is uh, annual earnings for a graduate in dollars, 29.3% is explained by these other variables, such as years of schooling beyond high school and your GPA. So let's answer some of these questions. What is your equation? Well, your equation would equal, uh, that, let me type it in here because I want to. And I'm going to put it in, put it in red. So your equation is earnings, which is our annual earnings for a graduate I in dollars, but can I just shorten that to earnings, is equal to, we need a, a intercept. Intercept looks like it's 23,000 plus, we need a parameter, B1, which looks like 4350 times uh, B, uh, B1. And let's put some spaces in these to just make them look prettier. And then for B2, it's 5, 4, 2, 5 times, that's not time, times B2. Now remember, B2, we could just write it all out as GPA. In fact, do you want me, in fact, let's, shall we do that? And so, in fact, let's, just to make it a little easier, so instead of B1, let's type in, what is B1? Years. So can I just put years? And B2, instead of typing in grade point average in high school above 2.0, let's just take, type in GP, oops, GPA. And actually, just to make sure it's clear, it's greater than 2.0. And then we have, uh, what's our B3? 875 times, and what is... B3. B3 is activities. So I'll type it as ex activities. I could say extracurricular activities, but I need to have some name for it. At least I think it makes think I think it makes it a little easier to see. So we really have kind of a. Um, so if we just had one of these, we'd have an equation for a line. But now we have three different things that we say affect earnings. 
Let's go to our next question. If I go to one more year of college, according to this equation, how much will my earnings increase? Well, years of college is right here. And so it looks like, what, 4,350? So 4,000. I want to use red, don't I? 4,350, which is the parameter for B2. And B2, remember, is our GPA. I'm sorry, our B1. Let me not let's get the right thing. Years of college. There, there it is. Years right there. So make sure you be very careful you put the right parameter down. So it'll be one or years of college. Okay, if you get one more, and this is what I was thinking forward to because I really wanted to answer this one too. Well, one more point on a GPA. Um, assuming it's above 2.0, how much will my earnings increase? Well, I would tend to use the 5,425. B2, remember, is GPA above a 2.0. And so that is a, oops, I want to put it in red again. So we have uh, 5,425, 5425, um, which is amateur, pram, for B2, or GPA, GPZ, above 2.0. Looks a little better, doesn't it? Okay, next question. How much do I earn if I go to college one year, have a 3.0 GPA, and one extra curricular activity? Well, let's not worry about the T stat that we talked about before. Let's just put everything in. And so my earnings, oops, got to hit red again. So earnings is equal to $23,000 plus 4350 times how many years? One year. And let's spread it out again. I think it looks a little better that way, don't you? And then let's, uh, oops. And what's our next parameter? It looks like 5425. And what's my GPA? Okay, so a times three. Let's put a parenthesis around it. Plus 875. Oops, not times. It's not plus, rather, but times. And then one extra correct your activity. If I multiply all these together, I should get 46,250. If I did this correctly, which of the estimate, estimated values are statistically significant? And they should be anything above 2.0, which we already said was b1 and b2 looks like it wanted to capitalize that one over there so as we mentioned before your uh, years of schooling our gpa were statistically significant b3 was not and what proportion of the total variations explained by the regression line and we already answered that one 29.3 percent and now we answered a question for you. You've learned about the t-stat being a way of telling whether the B, B1 is statistically significant, which means it's uh, very probably different than zero. Um, so at least 95% confidence that the uh, t-stat's not equal to zero. So B3, we're not that confident that it's not equal to zero. And we also showed how to calculate this problem. Thanks.